What is going on everybody? Welcome to another series and today's interesting topic, but it's a well belonged topic that we should have talked about a long time ago before we get into what we're going to get into today. So a lot of the times we talk about calorie counting, we talk about macro counting, we talk about my fitness pal. And before we even get into that, it's really important that you guys, everybody watching, understand what are macros, what is my fitness pal, how do you even use it, and how we make it seem so easy, as easy as we even go as far as to say, all it takes is five minutes out of your day. So before we go into that, let's just talk about the very baseline. What are cat how do you set up your calorie goal? What are macros? So we're gonna get a little bit into that. Chris, do you wanna tell these lovely people what the calories, right? So so basically anytime if a client wants to bulk up or cut, what are they gonna to have to do? So first of all, to be able to talk about a bulk or a cut, you need to know what your maintenance calorie is, your baseline, what it is you even need to intake to survive daily. So to bulk up, like you said, you put on weight, not only do you wanna put on, you know, just whatever weight, you wanna put on lean mass. You gotta be in a surplus, a small surplus and start building up to gain the weight. And the opposite, to cut, you need to start slowly decreasing the calories uh, without going anything crazy. You don't want to burn your muscle. Obviously, it's hard-earned muscle. You want to hang on to as much as you can. So, Correct. So for a cut, we're going to be actually in a caloric deficit. And for a bulk, we're going to be in a caloric surplus, right? And then once we figure that out, uh, whether it's a caloric surplus or a caloric deficit, then we set up your macros, all right? So this is what makes up the magnificent thing that we just talked about, which is calories. Macros go inside of calories. So what are macros? Macros essentially are short term for macronutrients. Macronutrients is what makes up your protein, so what makes up your fats, and it's what makes up your carbs. Last but not least, it's actually what makes up your alcohol. So I'll even write that on there too, so in case you know people are wondering about alcohol. Um, let's go ahead and put... So we'll even put that on there just in case for those who are wondering about alcohol. So really there is really four uh, macronutrients that make up your calories, which are protein, fats, and carbs. I try to keep alcohol away out to the side because obviously I told my clients not to drink. And these are very important to understand. These are actually empty calories, meaning there's no benefits into the human body whatsoever. So let's go into protein, right? So whenever I give a breakdown to a client and I tell them, hey guys, and right now we'll do the math and we'll show you guys how to break that down, okay? But right now we're going to just keep it simple, 4, 9, 4, and 10. So I'm going to tell a client, hey, your goal is to intake, this is just an example, 2,000 calories a day, and we're going to give this client 2,000 K calories daily. And this client's goal is going to be 35% is going to be protein. We're going to go there at 35%. Fats, we're going to go with 25%. Whatever is in 35, 45, 55, 65, um, 55. So we're still missing. Chris, help me out with these numbers right quick. 35, 25. We'll roll this out right quick. 60. So we're still missing 40%. 40% of this client is going to come from carbs. And right now, I'll have Chris and he'll break this down for you guys. But again, we're going to keep it simple right now. So, it looks like it's starting to get to a lot of numbers. And this is where it gets difficult. And this is where a help of a personal trainer, this is where a help of a nutritionist like myself can come in handy and really break this down and explain it. But again, we're going to keep it as simple as possible. So, macros. So the client's goal, client A, his goal is to intake 2,000 calories a day. This is going to be, um, he's going to be in a deficit because we're going to say his maintenance is at 2,500 calories. The client's goal is going to be at 2,000 calories a day with 35% of his goal is going to come from protein. 25 is going to come from fat. 40% is going to come from carbs. So if someone who's really good at math looks at this, it looks very simple, right? Because we know that for every um, gram of protein, there's four calories. Per gram of fat, there's nine calories. Per gram of carb, there are four calories. So we take 35% from protein, 25% from fats, 40% from carbs. That leaves us with zero room for alcohol. 
So this is why alcohol, I just block it out because I'm not, whenever I'm prescribing a diet to a client, I'm not going to incorporate alcohol because again, it's an empty calorie. So that's why we're going to just go on ahead and scratch that out. But it's very important we talk about that because whenever you guys are going to go out, again, this is a lifestyle. So when you guys are going to go on, you guys are going to go out and enjoy a drink. It's very, it's okay to enjoy a drink from time to time, but just keep in mind, 10 calories, empty calories per gram, okay? 100 grams in a shot. So that means that there's 100 calories or I'm sorry, 10 grams in a shot means that there are 10 times 10, 100 calories in one shot glass. Pretty much anytime you're gonna drink a shot, sometimes it doesn't come up on my fitness pal, I would just log it in as like a light beer, like a Michelob Ultra, or like a Miller Lite or something, okay? So you have five shots, guess what guys, it's 500 calories. It's very important to keep in mind. A lot of you guys don't drink shots, I go out and drink margaritas. So a margarita typically has one to two shots. That's about one to 200 calories just from alcohol. Plus your sugar, plus your liquor and all that stuff. You're looking at about four to six hundred calories in one margarita, not including your food. So again, I don't want to get too lost into alcohol. Let's just scratch that out. We're focusing on protein, fats, and carbs. So this is what your macros are, guys. So I hope that this covers a little bit of basic. What are macros, protein, fats, and carbs? Again, just to give a breakdown, there's four calories in every gram of protein, nine calories in every gram of fat, four calories in every gram of carb. Okay. All right, you guys. So now we're back. So like Angel mentioned earlier, we're looking at a client that needs to intake. 2,000 calories a day, uh, you know, to get their the calorie intake they need. Uh, as he said before, we need 35% uh, of that coming from proteins, 25% of that coming from fats, 40% of that coming from carbs. So once we break it down into the grams, we're looking at 175 grams of protein daily. We're looking at 56 grams of fat and 200 grams of carbs. Like I said, once we break it down, the total calories we have for each one, 700 in protein, 500 in fats, 800 in carbs, equaling our most important part, 2,000 calories daily. I'm explaining this to you guys because obviously you can see we're personal trainers. We're not the best at handwriting, but this is what we got for you guys. If you stay tuned, we're going to talk about how my fitness pal is important for us to hit these numbers right now. All right, now. guys, so now we're moving on to the next topic, which is what we like to personally use. There's other numerous apps out there, like I think there's one called Fat Secret I used to use way back in the day. Um, there's other calorie trackers, right? And we're not gonna say that you have to use MyFitnessPal. We just like to use MyFitnessPal because I'm gonna go explain it here why, but it's super easy to use. Anybody can use it. It's the most user-friendly app. Not only that, it's one of the biggest owned by Under Armour, so, let me get this right. This is not a paid advertisement. This app is free. And again, it's by Under Armour. I'm not sponsored by Under Armour. I'm just giving you guys tips on what I like to use and what's easy and super convenient. Anyone can use it. Anyone with a smartphone, your child, all right? If you have a child, I guarantee he can use my fitness pal. So there's no excuse not to use it. So what is my fitness pal? In short, my fitness pal is a calorie tracker. Calorie tracker, which helps you stay on track of this crazy madness that we created for you guys up here. So a lot of the times, if you're one of our clients, on the back end, you guys don't see this, but this is actually what we have to do with every single client. You guys, all y'all gotta worry about now is focusing on the 175, 56, and 200. Again, this number will be different for everybody depending on their goal, but this is what you guys don't have to worry about. All this formula, we do that for you guys. And then on my fitness pal, we plug in these numbers, a super short, Beautiful numbers, it's 2,000, 175, 56, and 200. And now my fitness pal is a calorie tracker that helps you stay in this number here. So it just helps you stay within range, not go overboard, and helps you reach our goal, okay? Um, helps keep on track by making sure that we're being consistent, which consistency is the biggest part here. So I tell everyone, people are like, Can, if I track my macros, if I do cardio um, 20, 30 minutes, even 40 minutes a day, will I get in shape or shredded within a week? Guys, the answer to that, I'm sorry, but is no. Ask yourself this, did you get to where you're at right now, overnight or in a week? If you're, honestly answer this question to yourself. If you're 25, 35, 40% body fat, did you get there overnight? So you can't expect to lose weight overnight. You can't expect to do one cardio session and get in great shape. You can't expect to do one day of tracking and get in shape. It doesn't work that way. I, mean, I wish it did, but it doesn't. Again, nothing works that way. You're not going to reach success overnight. You're not going to lose weight overnight. You're not going to gain weight overnight. Nothing happens overnight. It takes time and consistency. This app here just helps keep us consistent, helps us stay on track, so that we know that whenever we look at a month scale, 
we go, okay, cool, this past month, I was on it every single day. So based on this formula, just to give you guys an example, I should lose at least one pound a week, four pounds in a month. Sounds very little, yes, but four pounds a month is very ideal, it's healthy range. Um, and if you're really losing anything more than that, you're not really losing fat pounds, you're mainly losing a lot of water weight, okay? So very important to, to just knock that out of the way before I go into the next one. The next beauty of my fitness pal is that it's a community, guys. It's community based around um, other like-minded people. Why? Because you can make your profile public. You can add friends on there. You can look on to, I can go on there and be like, hey, Chris, what'd you eat today? And if he lies to me, I can go on his MyFitnessPal, which I actually did, Chris. I didn't tell you you're recording right now. But I went to his MyFitnessPal, I believe on Monday, today's Thursday. I had a client come in the gym and I wanted to see a perfect example. And I know that I can rely on Chris because Chris eats really clean. I showed him mine. But I didn't want to be like, this guy's lying. He's probably just showing me this because I'm here in front of him. So I was like, look, I'm going to go to one of my friends so you can see what he's eating. I go to Chris Robles. Bam, guess what? His macros were on point. His goal is very low right now. He's cutting. He was 1,500 calories. And it was like, I think he had like egg whites and spinach and breakfast. His lunchtime was his grilled chicken with his sweet potato and broccoli. And then his, he already scanned his dinner time. That's, I'm glad I mentioned that because I would have forgot. Chris likes to pre-scan. Um, Chris pre-scans. Um, basically, so like that, he doesn't go over his calorie goal, and it's very easy to go over your calorie goal, okay? Even coming from me, from a trainer, he's been doing this for years. I screwed up the other day, all right? I'm gonna come clean and I'm gonna confess. I messed up the other day, I got here, it was dinner time, and it was, I had literally just lowered my calories by an extra 300 calories. I was at 1800 calories, I'm at 1500 calories now. I got home, I was starving, and I said, I still have some room to lead. I didn't even look at my fitness pal, I just, I, last time I saw it, I believe I had like 700 calories, so I'm going to just eat. I don't even care. I'm hungry. I had 12 ounces of ground beef, extra lean ground beef, 96.4. I had a whole sweet potato, and then I had three packets of oatmeal. Um, you see, you say that, and you go, well, that's cool. That's healthy. He's going to lose weight because he's eating clean. Well, the quantity of it, the quality of it is great, but the quantity was just too much for my particular goal. So just because you're eating something healthy doesn't mean you're going to lose weight. It all falls down under macros, calorie counting, guys. So when you pre-scan like my boy Chris, you scan everything from breakfast time, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and your snacks, so you know throughout the day what you can eat and what you can't eat. Sometimes I'll tell Chris, hey Chris, you want a, a protein bar? You want some Quest chips? I can't eat it, bro, because I already have my day planned. That's better, I know it's going to the extreme, but that's honestly better because you're gonna hold yourself more accountable. So pre-scanning is honestly a little bit better than even scanning as you go. So just a quick tip, that's just a tip. You don't have to follow it if you don't want, but again, it's just a tip that can help you be more successful. So if it's a tip that help you be more successful, why not take it? Um, last but not least, going into MyFitnessPal is, MyFitnessPal is basically a way to keep track of your body's field tank. So every car has a gasoline tank, right? Whenever you turn it on, you turn it on. Sometimes it's full, sometimes it's middle, sometimes it's all the way empty. So when you see that it's all the way empty, we know that it needs to be refueled at the gas station, at the fuel station, so that we can drive to our destination. So car is basically fueled by gasoline. Our body is fueled by food. So it's very important to understand that whenever we're low on, on, on calories, we're low on glycogen, right? Glycogen stored through carbohydrates, right? We're, we, we're gonna have low energy levels. Um, our mood is gonna be different. Um, some people act differently. Some people get more cranky. Some people get you know more pissy. Some people get lightheaded. Um, some people just can't function. So it's very important to understand that my fitness pal is a tracker that's gonna help us keep track of body's fuel tank. So just imagine if your car the, the fuel tank wasn't working. How do you know when it's gonna? You'll probably be driving one day and it's gonna just shut off because you didn't know the the, the tank the tank capacity. You didn't know where your level was at. But if we're using my, my fitness pal, we know what how much we have left, we know what we have to eat, and we know we're staying on track. So very important to look at my fitness pal, like calorie tracker, helps keep on track. Um, it's a community and it's a body fuel tank. Guys, when you start to eat um, just to fuel your tank and stop eating for pleasure, I promise you everything is gonna be super easy. Um, as far as calorie counting, what are macros in my fitness pal, that's it. Guys, let's move on to the next topic and don't overfill your tank. All right, so now we're gonna talk about one of the most, if not the most important tool for tracking your macros. This is gonna become your best friend, something that you absolutely have to use. Well, you don't have to use it unless you got a good eye for it, but obviously not all of us know our portion sizes, correct? So I'm gonna introduce you guys to the food scale. This food scale is gonna help you weigh out 
uh, anything that you want to eat. Let's just say, for example, you have your peanut butter. You're going to get ready for a pre-workout. You're going to get ready for your workout. So you want a pre-workout snack to fuel you, correct? Because, again, your food is fuel. So when you look at the back of the peanut butter, it tells you your serving sizes. Serving size uh, is 32 grams. So once you know how many grams you have for your serving size, you can go ahead and put it on your food scale. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And not only do you need to, to make sure you have it on, you need to make sure you're on the right unit. Switch over to grams, make sure you're on there. So now when you get ready to get your serving size out, you go ahead and get your spoon. You take out the peanut butter you need until this weighs out negative 32 grams. Make sure you have the grams on point. If you go over or under one gram, no big deal. As long as you're being super consistent, make sure you're staying on track. So this is how you use the, the food scale to keep track of your peanut butter. Once again, like I said, make sure you read the serving size, guys. It tells you right there, 32 grams. Let's let this auto focus right quick so they can see. There you go, 32 grams. So now you know what you need to plug into my fitness pal, your 32 grams of peanut butter. And not only does you can you search it on there, my fitness pal gives you gives you the ability to pre-scan the barcode right here to make sure you know exactly what brand, everything, keep you super accurate. So you go ahead and scan it, put your serving size once you weigh it out on the food scale. Here we go. Random hand just came out to help us out, right? So, you go to my fitness pal. You got that clear? Mm hmm All right. Scan the barcode. Simply just go here. Boom. Scanned. All right. So, we got two tablespoons, which is a serving size. Serving size on here says two tablespoons, which equals 32 grams. Boom. We got it. Check it out. Add it on there. We have it tracked. So, our whole meal before our workout is going to be... Uh, peanut butter sandwich so we have our bread here same thing we look at the serving size serving size is one slice obviously we're going to need two to make our sandwich so boom scan it read it on here serving size is one slice obviously we're going to go here we're going to go for two slices boom we got it added we have our peanut butter we have our our bread ready to go already scanned it already tracked how many how many calories we have and check it out again referring back to the the grams we need for protein grams we need for carbs and the grams we need for fat it's already going to keep is going to keep you on track you guys this is why my fitness pal is so useful so powerful so next we have our protein shake we have our water ready obviously no calories in this no need to track it we have our protein uh, powder itself once again get our scanner and boom we have it set 35 grams one serving we got it ready to go so with uh, protein powder you necessarily don't have to weigh it out because it already comes with the scoop for your serving size. Now what I like to do is when you scoop it out, just shake it a little bit. Make sure it's flat to the top. It's going to be the best and most accurate way. Like I said, you don't have to weigh it out. Just keep it simple. Make sure you have a nice, good scoop. Make sure it's full. You don't want to overfill it and go over your macros. So there you go. That's our pre-workout meal right there, fueling our body to make sure we're on point with our macros. And another thing, a lot of people tend to ask, what about like my veggies? What about my pasta? Things like that. So going back to the food scale, you guys, go ahead and add your plate on your food scale. Turn it on. Boom. Zeroed out. So now every time you add, let's just say, for example, this pin is like a banana right you want to know how many grams of banana you're going to eat just add it on your plate boom it adds it up for you 
Now you can go back to my fitness pal and plug it in. How many grams you had for that banana? So Chris, what about if these people want to add a banana and then they want to add some berries? What would they do to go back? Do they got to delete the plate or is there a button on here that they can press? Okay. So we have our banana ready, right? We have it tracked. Now let's say like, like Angel said, we want to add some, some berries to our meal. So now, boom, tear, which is zero, in, zero it out. Now this basically weighs nothing. You're starting over from scratch. Here's our berries, boom, weighed it out for you. Now you got 36 grams of berries and just make sure you plug it in and you got it going. This is your next meal right here. So this is why I say the food scale is gonna become your best friend. It's gonna be the most accurate tool to make sure you plug it in for my fitness pal. Yeah, so we hope that was helpful. We hope that you guys took something, if not all of it um, for good use. So again, just like Chris said, we want to make sure we're using the, the food scale. That's the only thing that I or he or anybody are going to you know tell you guys to go out and buy. Again, MyFitnessPal is a free app. You don't have to purchase it. It's completely free. The only thing we advise you to purchase, again, you don't have to, but it helps so much. And you kind of need it if you're going to be tracking is a food scale. Guys, a food scale you can buy at a local grocery store, Target, Walmart, whatever, for like 15, 20, no more than 30 bucks, all right? 30 bucks for a really good one. Um, so it's inexpensive. Anybody can go out and get it, guys. And you really need it, okay, for if you're gonna be tracking. So food scale is all you're gonna need in a free app called My Fitness Pal and simple knowledge on how to use a phone. Because if you know how to use a phone, which everybody does in 2021, then you can track on My Fitness Pal. Um, until then, guys, I'm pretty much that's all I have to say. So consistency, guys, beats everything. Consistency beats genetics, beats anything, guys. So let's be consistent, work hard and you're bound to see your results, guys. Until next time, I'm out. Chris, is there anything else you'd like to cover on these lovely people? Well, I hope you guys, like he said, you learned something today. Make sure the importance of why we keep track of macros, what are macros, how the calories actually break down, and the importance of why it is different to actually have a personal trainer who knows what they're doing, who kind of can guide you in the right direction. So go ahead and book your appointment today at Office Steady Competitors and Grind Hard Fitness. Until next time. Running out, guys. Let's go.